Hello everybody, my name is Anthony, and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Indonesia. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So modify government, I don't think so because there's still nothing we can do, so. I see we could go up here, but I still don't even think that's really worth it, is it? Uh, researching, are we doing anything that's interesting that, that we need to kind of think about? I mean, why, you know what, let's get the small arms, man. I always think having small arms is good, so we'll get that research going at at some point in the future. Have we deployed any troops yet? No, we're still waiting for rifles. Because we only have one factory. Might keep five a day. I mean, that's not horrible. It is what most would consider pretty goddamn bad. But it could be, it could be worse. It, it could be worse. Construction, we're making factories. Factories, people love factories. People love factories. We've got 3, 4 to 15. That is going to be done in like the end of the year. So we got a, we got a while to wait on this. And that's only for level 1. There's, there's 3 queued up. So you know, let's build like one of you. So it'll be done in October 22nd. Oh, there we go. We're, we're communists now. That is a terrible flag. The Soviet Islands of Indonesia. That's an an interesting name. I I will give them that. Can I join the common turn? You have a strategic reason to be hostile to the Soviet Islands. I'm literally called the Soviet Islands. I, I you don't understand. It's not neighboring faction. You don't. Fine. Uh. Is that, does everybody say that? Different ideology. And then Japan is not in a faction, but I'm assuming the Axis absolutely despise me. And strategic reason. For one, the Soviet Union has no strategic reason to be hostile towards me. Let's get a non aggression pact. Because maybe then they would like me a little bit more. It's not neighboring. Okay, so at least they don't have a reason to attack me anymore. I don't know what what would, their, what would their reason be to attack us. I'm not too sure. Oh wait, no, I should have saved those points so I can go to the total mobilization. I say couldn't. We have to go to war economy. No, we have to go to partial mobilization because people haven't declared wars yet. But that basically go from a negative thirty to a plus ten. That's a that's a pretty big difference. So as, as soon as we get enough points, we're at seventy five right now. Yeah, we, we I shouldn't have done that. I should I should have known. That we should have taken our points up. But you've almost deployed our first troop. I don't know what he's going to do. or and, and who's he going to do it to. Is there like one country in the world that has like one brigade that we could, you know, go kill? South Africa is part of the Allies. Um, Turkey, Iran, Oman. Oman's got more than one brigade. They have one brigade. We can go invade. We can go invade Oman, maybe. Yemen might even have zero. They have two. Iraq is six to seven. Saudi Arabia has three. But these people have oil. I don't. I think oil is something we're missing, right? I know. Yeah, we have a ton of rubber. No, we have a ton of oil too. Chromium. Like, who has like aluminum or steel? Because right now we have no steel. Uh, let's see, states, supply areas, diplomacy, yeah, resources. I'm gonna look at resources. We got 28 steel in Australia, but I feel like that's kind of out of the way. I still think we need to attack this guy at some point. 8 to 10 brigades, I think we just need to basically invade them. Go from, like, this island and just push north. I don't, I don't know how we're going to do it. Like, does... Okay, no. They don't own... Soviet Union doesn't own Port Arthur. Infrastructure effort. So that means we can get to construction effort three. We are... Not enough civilian factories. Oh. It, it, there wasn't enough slots. And we have enough slots. Fantastic. So... This is still going to take until... Well, no. We got one more. Now it's September 4th. We're getting, we're going way faster now. But after this one is done, we're gonna go, you know, get those military factories. 
It just, it just adds slots, which is nice. I mean, we don't really need the Soviet Union to... 30. We can improve relations, but that's 10 points. They already kind of like us, and I don't know how many... Soviet opinion of... It's, it's 4. Like, it's... I think it could maybe get up to... I think it's 10, 10 to the max, so it'd still be 0, which... I think still doesn't do anything for us. And if we had the small arms guy, we might as well start going for the equipment research, because that's kind of the... We spent 150 political points to get it, we might as well... We might as well use it. We have our sink. We have our first division. Where is he? There he is. Our first army. Do we? Of course, we have no commanders. Let's assign this guy. There you go. You know what? We might as well just make. You have no points or anything, so you might as well just become a field marshal. He has no orders assigned. I don't know what a possible order for you could be. Honestly. Other than an invasion of this island. That's about the only thing I could possibly think you might need. Like, we don't have a navy. We have nothing. We build, We can build some convoy ships and make one of those a month. Fantastic. I don't even know if we have enough. We wouldn't even, we wouldn't even have enough to... Go to partial. And then that's going to take until July. So that's going to be much faster. Yeah, this actually won't work because I think we, at most we can send like two divisions. So delete that order. Front line against the British? I don't... I don't know where to really send men. Like, who's a small nation? Like, Uruguay? Four to eight, but they're all protected by the United States, right? Yeah, so we can't attack into the New World because those are... We, we can't fight the United States, surprisingly enough. This is all owned by big countries. Belgium, we definitely can't fight. Yeah, there's just... There's just no one, really. Siam and these small cliques. And most of those cliques we can't even get to, so... We got Fighters 1. I mean, at some point we're going to want fighters, so I guess it makes sense. It's 38, so that's ahead of time. Motorized. 180 days. We might as well start getting those guys as well. Ooh, 6.6 .6 rifles a day. Fantastic. How many rifles do you guys have? 304. I just wish we can, like, import rifles. The same way we can import other things. Okay. So, let's get better industry. Uh, you guys are... Yeah, just arm and effort. Let's get, let's get more factories. I mean, we're getting, you know, 6th of July. We have, we have a little bit of a boost. You know, it's a 40% increase of, of speed, which is not bad. If it took like a year, and that only takes 9 months. I mean, that's not, that's not like a huge difference, but... It's still, it's still better than nothing. If I get military access through you... Okay. Roll attention zero. We're a player, so they're more likely to you say yes. So now I think... Oh no, I think that only because it increased relations is the only reason we actually are closer. Boost party popularity. Well, I mean, at this point, until war breaks out... There's not much we can do. So yeah, we might as well just boost party popularity in places. Like in that area in France. Paraguay is already communist, actually. There you go. Paraguay, you can like us. Are any of you guys communist? We might as I was gonna say we might as well influence the United States. But I feel like that would just take forever. Because I think they have a bonus to defense. Yeah, drift, they have a drift defense bonus. So, how about Sweden? We'll boost it there. So now we're only going to get any 0.5 a day, I believe. No, it's 0.7. 
I don't know how exactly... Oh, it's probably plus 10%. Okay, so maybe it does make sense. Yeah, so Sweden and France. If France becomes communist, that'll be good for us. I mean, they're already at 30%. Like, it's... It is increasing by 0.3 a day. It's not much, but it is better than nothing. Oh, the British have shown up. Oh dear. They've gotten wise to our plans. Like, Portugal... Has 52 brigades. That's a little bit scary. And we're almost on our first factory. Fantastic. August 4th? Yeah, only like a month until this military factory is done. And then we'll build military factories on here, on this island. I'll just see small islands over here. So yeah, as soon, as soon as this one's done, we'll build more civilian. Uh, actually, we, what we can do is construction, after those are all done, just build even more... ...civilian? Oh yeah, we're at 14 factories. I can see like, oh, 15 factories now. Let's get even more factories. Now we're getting 8.44 rifles a day. Still, now we only need 4,100. No, 4,700. I was completely wrong. Uh, so these are all done in 38. I don't... I mean, Marines would actually be useful, and I feel like we probably should get some Marines at some point, because, you know, we are many, many islands. So, naval invasions are going to be important. So we have 11 convoys. Can we, like, get some battleships? There's 70 points. The heavy cruisers. In, th in almost four years, we'll have one. Oh, fantastic. Well, you know, we'll build this one ship. I don't even... Where is our... I guess this is our naval base over here. I mean, we have actually... We actually have many naval bases. Imported. We need one more steel. Great. Is that because we're building a big, uh ship for really no reason. I mean, probably. The offensive line really is just basically take this one British city in uh, Malaysia. I said that, that's probably the capital of... Uh... Why can't I think of the name of the city? Republic of Malaysia. No. What, what's the name of the city? Or not... Brunei. Okay. I think that's where Brunei is. Yeah, so there's actually a lot more countries here. Vietnam exists. Uh, Cambodia. Is this Laos? Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, Pakistan and India don't really exist, but... You know, other than that, I, I like how Scotland actually doesn't even exist either. We can't force Scotland out of the Union. And I don't think there's any more countries really, like Sicily... No. Algeria, Morocco don't exist either. And that's all good. This is a little bit stormy over here in Indonesia right now. That sucks. I mean, it's not too bad for me because, you know, I'm not in Indonesia personally. We already had 70 factories. I, like, where are we actually getting all these factories? From trade. We're getting sick. Half of our factories are just being imported because of trading. And not that that's, you know, a huge issue. Maybe it's because... Actually, are we getting the points now because... Because we're building convoys? I mean, probably. Is there any way you can just get rid of this? No. Okay, well that sucks. But let's get these convoys back and going. So we got an armament for three, uh, infrastructure effort I feel we don't really need right now. Collectivist effort. And then we can go for internationalism. Communist support. I mean, might as well. We have 48 points, 49, and 50. And that means we can go to war economy. For another 20, I mean, it. I mean, it makes sense. I really don't know what else we'd really be spending it on. So let's go to War Economy. 
I mean, Japan is now at war with China. I mean, I don't know. We don't, we, I mean, we don't want Japan to win. You know, if anything, we want to support the Chinese. And we shall join the common turn. And that actually kind of makes sense if Japan's doing thing. And some dark red islands down here. Fantastic. So at least we have a little bit of protection. And if we want to invade some other countries, maybe the Soviet Union would help us. Potentially. We shall see. We got research slots available. Uh, we should probably get the production efficiency cap. I think that makes sense. We have 18 factories. Yeah, I think for trade and supply, 14 out of 14. So yeah, most of our, most of our convoys are being used right now. We got motorized vehicles now. After that, I think we're kind of just fine for here for now. Support battalions. If anything, we should go get some land doctrine. I always think superior firepower is pretty good, so let's take that. Even though we, you know, we're a big country. You know, 62 million people. It does make... S even though we'll have a lot of manpower, basically, I still think superior firepower is probably worth it. Instead of the uh, the other one, which is basically like mass assault or something along those lines. Yeah, mass assault, which I think is, you know, basically what the Soviets do. And they have, you know, they have a lot of troops. So they can kind of throw bodies. I mean, we have a lot of troops too, in theory, because right now we have two divisions. In theory, we can have hundreds. But at the moment, it's not really looking that way. We have one more division, and another division is going to finish soon after, so let's get you up there. There we go, we've already got, you know, three divisions? I mean, it's not great, but it could be a lot worse. Let's make these guys deep purple, because I like the color deep purple. And then we'll just go for international focus, or internationalism focus. Yeah, so the French are 36%. I think if they ban the communists, it just immediately goes like zero. So if, they, if there can be a French coup early enough, but it, it, I don't know. They're already in the Allies, so I think even if they turn communist, it doesn't actually really change anything. I don't think they'll leave the Allies. And ha yeah, and starting a coup there would only cause a civil war, and then the Allies would just all get involved. So actually, France, I, we're going to keep boosting it there, but I still don't think it's really going to work out so so well also we can't attack southern china anymore because they are currently being well they've already been annexed by big china so that's not gonna work out so well i think just boosting party popularity in the united states it's really the only thing else we can do britain is already in the allies germany is you know germany so i don't, I don't imagine them feeling so well about us let's get I was going to say infrastructure, but I think infrastructure is actually kind of not useful at all for what we're doing at the moment, so we can just safely ignore that. No, I want to put you onto this battle plan. I want you onto that battle plan. Yeah, you go up there. Yeah, there we go. We have four divisions now. So we have 28 rifles. Are we using more? Okay, remain unused. Train and supply 14 out of 14. Why buy 14? I mean, we're importing 16 things of goods. You would think that we would need 16 convoys, but apparently that's not exactly how it works. Not too, I'm not too sure. Like, he's actually, like, this guy's not really doing anything for us anymore. Because we're already communist. Yeah, so this is pretty much the best we can do. Until we're actually at war, we can't go for total mobilization, and that already has a negative 3%. Recruit a population. And right now we're only at 1.5, so that actually put us to zero. So, don't want to do that. Factory output construction speed. I'm mean, going up to here would... I was going to say, like, free trade, generally, I don't think it's a great idea. Well, because we're such a small nation with four divisions. I mean, we don't really need all of this oil. Like, right now, we have 27 oil and 400 rubber. We don't need 400 rubber just sitting around doing nothing. If you can turn those into factories, 
then that's absolutely what we should be doing. Because it would just, just makes a lot more sense to do it that way. And we'd also, you know, we don't get more factories out of it. That's what we should be doing. There we go, we've got Marine. And I do think this is going to be a good time to end this video. So thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, remember to thumbs up if you not enjoy. If you like, thumbs down. Unless you want to subscribe. And goodbye.